Welcome back to Final Fantasy 13. And it's been a while. I have. It's been almost a week since I've last played this game. And I think we're about to go right into a boss fight here. So, yeah, this. This is going to work out well. I did not mean to take this long off from this game, but shit just kept happening. I was gone hanging out with some friends at a water park for a couple of days. Other shit was going on. It's been a few days since I've last played. I might be a little rusty here. Hope is looking for his chance to kill Snow. We're trying to. I think we're trying to get to Hope's dad's house, actually. As a sort of base. And here we go. I want to ask you something. What's, What's that? that? You say you, you want, want a family. family. What, if, what if... What if they were taken from you? Well, oh, then... Take them back. back. And what and if what you couldn't? What if you knew who was to blame? Well, well then, then there'd be trouble. Be trouble. <laughs> Nice blocking.
do a quick Hira. Let's go. Go, go, go. We got him. Like I haven't missed a beat. Shit, I think that was my best boss fight yet. Oh, yeah. And that thing just flew off. So we're probably going to have to deal with that thing again later. I feel like, again, I feel like they could have just done a better job. Like, the points they're trying to make there... They have a point to make. The game, Square Enix. 
the story writers of this game, but they just I just feel like they could have done a better job trying to set that up with Hope and Snow and Hope's mother dying. Because Hope just looks ridiculous, honestly. More or less. I mean, again, Hope should know his mom volunteered independently for the most part. And, uh, she got killed in the, she got killed in the battle. But you can't place all that blame on on snow. I mean, you're essentially at war, and shit happens, and it's horrible, but shit happens. If it wasn't for people like Snow and Snow himself, y'all would have died anyway. Y'all were literally getting carried to your deaths. And he saved you, or tried to save you. Nora still got killed in the in the, in the process. But it sucks, you know. Hope, you know, still a kid. A lot of emotions going through them. But like, trying to kill Snow for it. Like, I mean, Hope should know better than that. Like, come on. That makes, you know. You should know enough to know that Snow did not mean for your mother to get killed. It's not like he just he killed her himself for no good reason. Like it's a shame because it was a good, it's a good point. I think, I think, at the root of it all, it was a good, a good point, a good message to try and, and tell, but they fucked it up. I'm not gonna say they fucked it up horribly, but they they fucked it up. When we came out of crystal stasis, we didn't remember our focus or what we've done. All we could do was wander to cocoon, looking for what we've lost. Oh, so they made you think these people will let us go? They'll lynch us in the street. Listen to me, Neil. We do what we gotta do and get ourselves off this filthy world as fast as we can. You get out of here first. I'll buy you some time. So they made Saza's son. I'll come and find you, no matter where you go. Uh, let's see. <laughs> that takes me back to Vanilla and, <clears throat> and Saz talking, and Vanilla's like, oh, don't believe, don't blame your son. It, Wait, 
It was. And then she pauses. And she can't finish what she was saying, and she got all upset about it. Implying she knew something, obviously. And here's the slap. <laughs> that it? You, you sure better, better hope so. so. But, but whether we're square, square that's up to Sarah. Sarah. You, you sound, sound exactly, exactly like snow. snow. And, and he, he didn't, didn't hit, hit me. me. Wait, he, he already, already knows, knows this? this? Wow. wow. That's, That's a load off. off. <sighs> Glad I apologized. You, you apologize, apologize so you feel, feel better? better? Guess, Guess so. How about, How about you? you? Feel any better, better now that you hit me? me? <sighs> it didn't, didn't change, change anything. anything. <sighs> uh, tell, tell that to that my jaw. jaw. Felix, Felix Heights, Heights is up there. there. Still, Still a ways before, before we get to Hope's place. place. Better, Better pick, pick it up. up. We'll, we'll have you that, that gate. But... Right. Alright, so, uh, still in chapter 7 here. Over the edge. Hope finally unleashes the anger he has been feeding for so long, channeling his hate into deadly power. He blasts Snow with fury magic. But just as he prepares to deal with the killing blow, he is hurled from the roof of the building they are standing on by a nearby explosion. Snow doesn't hesitate for a second. He hasn't forgotten the dying wish of a mother who fell during the violence of the purge, catching the boy, and now catching the boy he now knows is her son. Snow shields hope with his own body as they crash into the to the ground below. Elsewhere, lightning listens as Fang makes a confession. When Fang and Vanille awoke from crystal stasis, they had no memory of their past. Are they dead? I, I didn't catch that. Probably because I was talking, not not paying enough attention. Thinking it might give them a hint about their focus, they decided to attack the Sanctum Thalci and Urid Gorge. Unfortunately, Fang left the scene none the wiser, and is still desperately trying to figure out their task in order to prevent Vanille from begin from becoming a sea and to stop the creation of any more let's see I'm confused so Fang and Vanille awoke from crystal stasis they had no memory of their past thinking it might give them a hint about their focus they decided to attack the Sanctum Falci and Urid Gorge
So they awoke from their crystal stasis before they attacked or tried to attack the foul sea. Like I, so maybe they I guess they didn't. Okay, they weren't the ones themselves to, to turn Saz's <coughs> son into a let's see. It was the Falci. I guess Falci are the only ones that can do that. Which makes sense, right? But they're the ones who were attacking. And that made the Falci turn. Saz's son, who I, who I can I can't quite remember the name of. That made the Falci turn the son into a Lassie. So, in a sense, Vanil and Fang are are to blame for that. Aang was talking like it was also their fault that uh, Sarah got turned into a let's see. I'm not really seeing how that's connected, honestly. Unfortunately, Fang left the scene none the wiser and is still desperately trying to figure out their task in order to prevent the nail from becoming a seed and to stop the creation of any more let's see. So they look from crystal stasis and they still have focuses. But if they go to crystal stasis, I thought that's because they completed their focus. So why do they why do they still have focuses? Maybe I can maybe answers will be maybe I'll get answers by reading more here. The Grand Pulse Nadeth then reveals that she believes Sarah was chosen by the fallacy to carry out the focus and no longer remember. Okay. Well that's kind of a, a big assumption. That could not be the case at all. Lightning takes the news with mixed emotions. Fang deserves to pay for what happened to Sarah, but at the same time, she gives Lightning hope her sister may not be a, be a crystal forever. Thirteen days. Day... There's a lot of days here. Day three, escalation. Fang and Vanille discovered the unconscious Sarah deep within the vestige. They just they discovered her? They could see the girl had been branded with the mark of a Lassie. The door to the pole structure closed until now was thrown open when Fang and Vanilla awoke from their stasis. And Sarah had chosen to walk through it. They took the newly branded servant outside and watched over her until she recovered and set off home. The two women, their focus forgotten, assumed that the Falci Anima had chosen a new Lassie. Day 4 Searching. Fang was feeling anxious. Her own brand was... Okay, real quick though. See, they never showed this. They never showed this or really explained this part. too well so really like the only way to have a good good like understanding about this is to, is to find it here in the data log and read it day four searching fang was feeling anxious her own brand was scorched and showed no sign of changing but vanilla's mark was still active if they didn't remember and complete their forgotten focus her friend would become a conceit with nothing left to lose fang suggested they visit the sanctum valsi and the Uric Gorge energy plant, if they approached one of their sworn enemies, then perhaps the memory of their focus would return. They thought goodbye. Fang's plan to infiltrate the energy plant with Vanille and recover the memory of their focus ended in failure. Sensing their presence, the Falci Kijada attempted to defend itself by creating a servant out of the closest human, a little boy, including Sarah from the day before last. Now two innocent lives have been forever altered. The fl fluctuations in the planet's power levels altered the Sanctum army. 
and Fang drew the attention of the soldiers onto herself to give Vanilla a second a chance to escape. Day six alliance. After shaking her military pursuers, Fang returned to the vestige to find Vanilla already gone. She searched the town for her missing friend, but was eventually captured by Sanctum soldiers. Members of the ca cavalry, a unit commanded by Brigade, Brigade, Brigadier General Sid Rains. Rains, a man. <coughs> <coughs> Rains, a man opposed to a foul sea control cocoon offered Fang his protection, not only trusting him, but without a way to locate Vanilla on her own, the desperate Lassie decided to join the general and his fleet. Aha! Uh -huh. Fifteen bestial claws. What a find. And this is about the extent of the secrets of the exploration in this game. Have a long ways to go. It's probably just best to have two commandos here. Thank <laughs> you. 
We just cannot get that bar to increase. Probably should have switched to uh, two magic users. Oh well, we took it down. We still got five stars. Ah, uh, Fang doesn't have Saboteur. Ravager, I mean. Ravager is what I meant to say. Fang doesn't have Ravager. I would say it's just worse, but it does give improved counter. But I don't know if it's worth. It's not worth those stat decreases at the moment. This, those are some pretty big stat decreases.
It's a good thing that I just upgraded our, my characters here. Yeah, I don't have much shit going on with her. Alright, I guess that's the best I can do right now. Good thing this thing is suspected to slide. I, can, I just cannot get this thing's gauge to go up any faster than this. And the gauge is back down to zero. It's fucking working. I guess it's not vulnerable. And that was okay. That was immune to slow for whatever reason. All of a sudden. 
I guess when it gets low enough on HP, it becomes immune to slow. <laughs> But there it goes. So, I think I have a theory here. <coughs> Basically, 
what I think is happening. If you're, if you become a C, right? You're given a focus, and if you complete that focus, you are deemed worthy and useful, and therefore. The foul sea will put you in a crystal stasis so you can last for an eternity essentially and if they need you for another focus they can bring you out of <coughs> a crystal stasis so you can try and complete that focus and if you can complete that focus maybe you'll go back into crystal stasis again Maybe maybe the cycle just continues forever. Hmm. That's my theory anyway. But <clears throat> I guess it sort of seems like Fang doesn't have a focus right now. She still has the mark of a Lucy. But it's not <clears throat> active right now. So she's she apparently doesn't have a focus and she's not at at risk of becoming a C but it's the opposite for Vanille her s seems to be active just so uh, she seems to have a focus so she's, <laughs> she's at risk of becoming a C <coughs> yeah Also, they're just not, I feel they're not really explaining some things good enough. The data log helps. But like, for an example, like the game has never stated, ever, that uh, <coughs> the land under Cocoon, <coughs> the uh, oh, what was it called? But the land under uh, under cocoon, like the under the underworld, I suppose you could call it, <clears throat> where Vanilla and and Fang are from, the Pulse. <clears throat> like the game has never stated that there were humans living there. <clears throat> but it doesn't seem like it's a shock for any of the characters in the game to find out that the villain thing are from there and, the, and the, that there's people there so it seems like that's something that was common knowledge that everybody knew <coughs> that uh the pulse is home <coughs> to people but as far as I remember I don't remember the game ever stating that so like the first you hear of that is like when you find out oh shit Vanilla and Fane, they're from Pulse. <clears throat> they're from this place that's said to be like hell, essentially. <clears throat> if it was like a shock to everybody, like if it was a shock to Lightning, and Lightning was like, wait a minute, there's people that live in Pulse? That'd be one thing, but it seems like it, like. Lightning's not reacting to it. It seems like it was just, it's common knowledge that people lived in Pulse. Maybe, maybe possibly I missed something, but <clears throat> as far as I remember, I don't remember the game ever. I don't. I, I really don't think it did. I don't think the game has ever said anything about Pulse having people that lived there. It was just described as like this <clears throat> hell, hell place that had monsters and stuff. But that's it. 
Anyway, Phenil. <laughs> Man, this cough. I've, I've had a little bit of a cough the last few days. It's really, I guess from talking like this, <clears throat> it's really kind of upsetting my throat, making me want to cough more. Just kind of feel like I have something in my throat. <clears> throat> anyway, it's also making my voice weak. Vanille, <clears throat> pretending to be Brandon at the same time as the rest of her companions, Vanille actually became a lassie on Grand Pulse long ago. Hundreds of years in the past, she and Faye completed their focus and turned to Crystal. Upon waking, they seem to have lost all memory of those events, <clears throat> and had no knowledge of their present task. While trying to prevent Vanille from becoming a Seath, <clears throat> Thane caused the incident at Urid Gorge, the event that turned Dodge into a Sanctum Lassi. <clears throat> Parted from her friend, Vanille wandered Kikun alone until the day of the purge. <clears throat> Orba Yan Fang. Fang is a lassie who was born on Great Pulse. The world that stretches out below floating the world that stretches out below floating show on cocoon. <clears throat> they worded that kind of weird. Fang is a lassie who was born on Grand Pulse. The world that stretches out, be <coughs> out below the floating shell of Cocoon. No, I just can't read like usual. She joined Vanille in a centuries long <coughs> crystal stasis, but awoke with no memories of her focus or what, what she did to complete it. To prevent Vanille's transformation into a sea, Fang tries to <coughs> recreate recapture memories of their task, but in doing so, it causes the incident at your gorge. Separated from her friend, the proud warrior woman finds herself working with Reigns and the cavalry <coughs> he leads as they track down the city. Bang's brand is scorched and twisted, its progress halted. Yeah, y'all just sit right there. <coughs> All right, so I think I'm I'm gonna end this one here. <coughs> Until next time.